This doll was made as part of a sci-fi Disney collab hosted by Thrifty Dolls. Link will be in the description below so you can check out their Instagram and also search the hashtag sci-fi Disney collab to see posts of these amazing dolls. I'm deciding between Caddy Noir and Spectra. For Caddy, I would do an exposed cyborg without the shell, and for Spectra, a sleek and clean looking cyborg with minimal exposed parts. I decided to go with Spectra since this would be a good reason to remove her yellowing since she needs full body sanding. My most recent video was another Spectra repaint, so if you like Spectra, then great! This doll was actually made before my Evil Mermaid doll, but due to multiple projects, due kind of all at the same time, Things got a little bit out of order and we've ended up with back-to-back -back Spectra repaints. Also, the Demon Doll giveaway is still open so if you want to enter to win her, the info will be in the description box and I'll see if I can put a link to that video on the screen now. I'm using my electric shaver to save the hair for a future project. Next she gets a dunk in hot water for easy head removal. I'm removing the old remaining hair and glue from inside the head. I actually enjoy this preparation part of the customizing process. Let me know if you do too. I use 100% acetone to remove her factory paint. I'm starting with the face this time and marking out her lines with a gray pencil first so that I can make changes if necessary. My concept is a sleek cyborg incorporating Snow White's color palette of navy blue, bright red, and pale yellow. Of course she will have the iconic rose red lips, ebony black hair, and a red bow. It can be helpful to have reference photos for this part, but you also can't go wrong by following a similar pattern to the facial bones. My original idea for her had sharply defined lips and irises on the smaller side. But as I was going along, it felt too severe. She is still a Disney princess after all, so you'll see that I go back and give her softer lips and bigger irises.
The panel covering her left eye is cracked and missing, so I'm sketching the exposed mechanics underneath. You can have a lot of fun with this part, adding as much detail as you like. I'm using mostly straight lines and creating triangular and rectangular shapes. Darkening the area will make it look more recessed. Once I have the basic shapes down, I use black pastel over the whole area. I like the look of a blue sheen to metal, so I'm placing blue highlights and blending them out. Outlining in black will make the details stand out. Because the mechanical area is slightly recessed since the white outer shell piece is missing, I'm adding shadowing around the edges. I add extra fine lines to show some cracking. I use blue pencil for the waterline and gray to create the shadows. Once I outlined the irises, I was unhappy with them pretty much right away. I left them alone and worked on other things while I figured out what exactly I wanted to change about them. Using a white gel pen, I add highlights to the mechanics in the form of lines and dots. This is my favorite part of creating this custom.
I'm keeping the lashes short on the bottom and precise. Using a darker red, I add more lines to the lips. I add purple sheen to the mechanics as well. She was almost giving me villain vibes, so I decided larger doe eyes are better suited for a Disney princess. I'm using a white pencil to create lines in the irises and then we'll be going over it with a white gel pen. You can use acrylic or gouache for this, but gouache is easier to remove if you need to change anything. Onto the body, I am using a Dremel to remove her seams and her molded underwear. Yellowing of the vinyl can happen, but sanding brought her back to her original white color. A dust mask is essential for this, also be sure to use eye protection. I sand around the joints to remove discoloration and also to minimize any chipping away at the paint. Now that she's ready and sprayed with sealant, I sketch out her body details. Her chest piece will resemble the bodice of Snow White's dress. I did an experiment with watercolor pencil, which is why you see blue on some of the chest already. It didn't work well for this doll, but I can see it working out nicely for a future project. I'll be using acrylic paint for her body. I used navy for her torso and yellow for her legs to match the color placement of Snow White's dress.
Once the acrylic is dry, I go back and I erase any gray lines that might still be showing. In place of poofy dress sleeves, I'm giving her two dots in a royal blue color with a red wire to mimic the puff sleeve shape. I'm wrapping wire around the arms and looping it around the finger. I use super glue to secure the wire in place. I draw wires that connect to her head. Adding actual wires here would look great too. Her chest and neck will have exposed machinery, so in the same way I did her face, I'm adding shapes to that area and then blending. Now that her body is done, I'm going back and cleaning up any uneven lines. For her shoes, I will be adding on a clear heel and then a base. I'm using a scrap piece of plastic to cut out two heel shapes and then glue them on with super glue. I painted the base of the heel in gray. For the bottom of the shoe, I glued craft foam onto cardboard and then paint black. Back to that wire I mentioned to mimic the puffy sleeve, I used super glue to attach it to the shoulder indentation, and with more super glue, I attach it to the arm. Once dry, I use clear glue to reinforce it in place. I 
I didn't catch this part on film, unfortunately, but it's pretty simple and straightforward to do, so I'll talk through what I did. I cut out another plastic piece and used a Sharpie marker to color it red on one side. Once dry, I used a clear glue as a top coat to stop it from smudging. A friend of mine said that DuraClear Ultra Matte Glaze sticks to plastic, so you might have luck with that, but I personally haven't tried it out. I attached it with super glue here. It's pretty simple to make, but it can add a lot of interest to a cyborg or futuristic kind of doll. Using barbecue skewers that I unboxed in my Dark Moon Fairy video, I curl the hair using a straightener. The hair is made from yarn wefts and I added a red bow with a pin to secure it in place. Since I don't want ringlets, just some body to the hair, I'm brushing out the curls. enjoyed watching me create Cyborg Snow White. I really enjoyed creating a sci-fi Disney doll. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. If you would like to support this channel there is a link to my Kofi down below. I will see you soon with another repaint and I promise it will not be another Spectra. Bye!